And the poor thing is like it has been choked. It's running out of gasoline. Medical supplies are becoming scarce. Meet Alejandro Guevara. He is five years old. Many might think he is gifted. You be the judge. The six largest species are known as the big cats. Alejandro has been reading from a very early age. His reading ability can be shocking at first when compared to other children his age. But according to his mom, Rishma, who struggled as a student, Alejandro is a product of some simple but proven methods of teaching. I went through the school system not really knowing how to read. I used to struggle. I used to not want to go to school and mild dyslexia and knew, nobody really noticed it. So I did not want that for my son. Alejandro, a student of the St. Helena's Presbyterian School, comes from what one would describe as an average family. His dad, Kevin, is a security officer at the Piaco International Airport and his mom is a housewife. They made a big sacrifice to spend more time with their little boy. When he was five months old, his games were playing. Who could guess this? Who could guess that? And then we got like puzzles. And we teach him from the puzzles because we would be playing with the puzzles. You will learn stuff that is fun, that will catch your interest once it's fun. Alejandro's parents lament the lack of proper facilities for gifted learners. They are appealing to the authorities to develop and implement programs targeted to help these type of students. For his reading ability, he went through the baby books rather fast. We had to start to find stuff higher up the reading level. When we call around and we say we have a, a, a gifted child, the first thing comes to the mind is that he's slow. The other side of it is that most of these children revert to being normal. Rishma had some simple advice to parents who want to unlock their children's true potential. First to begin, as parents, we're not supposed to waste opportunities with our children. Instead of we study ourselves and be selfish, invest that little bit of time. Because once the time is gone, it is gone. Otto Carrington against the odds, CNC3 News, St. Helena.